Hello, my name is Carlos Shadows and welcome to another video of mine. And this will be my first vinyl collection video and uh, I'm only going to show you the vinyls I already got. Uh, I mean showing you to you. Uh, I do got at least one more vinyl uh, but I'm going to show that in a future vinyl update video. So yeah, I got no reasons for not having it in this video for the moment. So, uh, two things before I st uh, start to show you the vinyls. First, uh, since I've got a lot of uh, questions from a particular uh, YouTube user, uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, my second Q&A already uh, this weekend on the Saturday, actually. Uh, so. Uh, I, if you got any questions uh, you want to ask me, feel free to do so now before I do that video because uh, I will hopefully be able to include all of the questions I got until then. Uh, unless I got too damn too many questions, so then I will probably do. Uh, uh, Q&A in two parts, so to say, but whatever, uh, and the other one is that, yes, I know w which date it is, and uh, this video is not a joke, uh, even if it uh, might appear so, maybe, I don't know, uh, but uh, this is just a serious video, and it's not going to be any joke in this, uh, or that I'm going to trick you or something. because that I'm too fucking bad with coming up with uh, things on spe specific dates. Whatever. Uh, I think I will le leave that for now and start showing you the vibes. So, first we got All Shalt Perish. Awaken the Dreamers. And uh, I'm not going to show you the vinyls itself, only the uh, covers, because uh, it will then take too fucking long time. And uh, I've already shown you them in early videos, so I'm going to link the videos down there in the comment in the description. So, yeah. That's why. Um, next we have Anagnorisis with Beyond All Light. Limited to uh, 66 copies. This one being the uh, 13th one. Fuck, I forgot how you pronounce it. Uh, you see down there. So, yeah. It's a really interesting package packaging on this one indeed. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, a really great black metal indeed. Next we have maybe a controversial band in the metal community, but whatever, I like them. Oscar Alexandria. Uh, from death to destiny, and uh, yeah, I know that you might have don't like them really. I know that many people don't like them in the other community, but I do. Uh, I am that weird guy who likes metal and Oscar Alexandria. Next, we have Blood Red Throne, self-titled. A uh, really great band from Norway and a uh, really great death metal from Norway. And uh, this is the limited box edition. I think it's limited to either 200 or 250 copies, uh, but uh, don't count me on that one. Uh, I might be wrong there. So next we have 
Caladan Brood, Echoes of Battle. And uh, we got a few extra sleeves here with really amazing uh, artwork indeed. My favorite one is this one with the autumn tree and kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, and uh, insides look like this. I think it was limited to 300 copies, uh, but my memory is not the greatest one, so I might be wrong on that one. So, next we have three vinyls, first of our band, first one being of London and the band is Kirk Angran. This in particular is the one limited 250 copies worldwide and the brown one, a really great album indeed, containing three bonus tracks. Yeah, three bonus tracks. Then there, there's the problem in putting it back in the plastic sleeve. And then we have two versions of one uh, album, and it's Death King through a Phantom Ship. Also containing three bonus tracks. I'm um, just going to show you a quick what looks like like this. One of the greatest releases ever, in my opinion. Uh, and th this one that I showed you uh, is limited to 250 copies, while the other one is limited to 100 copies worldwide and uh, they got different colorings on uh, each one of them. Uh, this one is uh, completely blue while the other one is uh, silver with red spatter. Really awesome indeed. And uh, next we have Dark Tranquility with Construct and also containing the 7 inch vinyl a deconstructor uh, that has the two bonus songs uh, which only comes with this vinyl uh, I mean the construct CD so next we have Motionless in white, creatures. And then we have another motionless in white, but this one being infamous. And then we have a not so well known black metal band, what I know of, uh, called Odium. Odium. Uh, a re-release of the album The Sad Realm of the Stars including a bonus track as well so, oh, the insides look like this so. And then we have the one album that uh, is definitely not metal and uh, 
uh, well, if you are a metal purist or whatever you want to call yourself, uh, I probably got m more than this. This one that's not metal, but in my opinion, this one is the only one that's not metal. So, anyway, it's Paramore self titled la latest release. Yeah, you can whine how much you want, but well, I like them. Next we got Sabaton Kairos Rex, the limited Swedish edition on vinyl, really fucking awesome, and uh, one thing that makes it special is that it only got the Swedish version of the songs, and uh, also that uh, the vinyl looks have the same colors of the Swedish flag. Uh, on it as well, so that's pretty awesome indeed. So, and it's only the Swedish version that uh, have that feature, so really fucking awesome indeed. Uh, so, yeah, next one is Suppition Pinnacle of Bedlam. And uh, almost all of the vinyls I have shown you uh, is colored vinyls. Uh, I'm a little bit weak for those. I do really enjoy those kind of vinyls. And uh, yeah, I pretty much do so. So yeah, next we have the Unguided Fragile Immortality. Limit to a hundred copies. Uh, gate bow. So yeah, not many left now. Uh, so yeah. So next we have Thy Artist Murder Hate. An album that I think a lot of people really enjoy it, actually. So yeah. And then the last band, their first uh, album on vinyls is We Came As Romance with the release to Plant A Seed. And uh, the last vinyl for this video is also We Can Astromas and the album Understanding What We've Grown To Be. So yeah, that ends the... that's all the vinyls I've really got. Uh, I think it was uh, it's around 20 vinyls I got now, something like that. Uh, I know not that's not much, but uh, I think it's pretty much at least uh, while uh, looking at I got I um, bought all of them under a year uh, and that's only the vinyls and uh, I also got the bought all the seeds for fuck's sake so it's pretty incredible indeed uh, how much I have been able to buy indeed. So I really looking forward to how big my vinyl collection will be next year on the April the first. So that ends this video. So if you got any questions for the Q and A, I'm doing this Saturday. Uh, feel free to ask them if you got any, uh, and if you don't, well, uh, you don't really have. Any, uh, um, I won't complain. So, and uh, I don't really have anything else to say. So, I'll leave you with this and stay fucking metal.